Stephen Flynn, leader of the SNP. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last evening we saw the, the best of this House in its ability to debate, and we also saw the worst of this House as it descended into farce. And I think I speak for everyone in the chamber just now, and indeed yesterday when I expressed my deep sorrow that that was able to happen given the content of what it was we were debating. Nevertheless, Mr Speaker, it descended into farce because of a decision that you made and you alone made to ignore the advice that was given to you by the clerks. In doing so, on the opposition day of the Scottish National Party, my colleagues and I were denied the ability to vote on a matter yeah. which is of grave concern to us and which over recent months we have sought to raise in this chamber at every available yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah. It ultimately turned into a Labour opposition day. Yeah. That, quite frankly, is not acceptable. And as I have expressed to you privately prior to proceedings here today, we do, there, we do not, on these benches, therefore, believe that you can continue in your role as Speaker. We do not have confidence in your ability to do so. So I would therefore welcome clarity, either from yourself or indeed from the Leader of the House, as to how we can best facilitate a vote in this chamber at the earliest possible occasion to that effect. Thank you. Leader. Uh, can I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his question? I hope that he can see in my actions yesterday that I am a servant of this House and that I, even though it may not be in the government's interests uh, to do so, uh, um, narrow interests to do so, uh, I will protect the rights of all minority parties to be able to uh, air their views in this place and to those parties that are afforded opposition day debates that they are able to have those debates in the fullest sense uh, and have votes on the motions that they put. We create the rules of this House and the Speaker uh, serves at our behest. I think given the range of views that have been expressed on the floor of the House today, uh, many interventions being supportive of the Speaker and pointing out the pressures that were put on him yesterday, that we take time to reflect. Mr Speaker has said his door is open to all parties and individual members, as is mine. But as I said, the Government will listen to this House. I am a servant of this House, and I will do its bidding. I will also come in at this point. I will reiterate, I made a judgment call that did not end up in the position where I expected it to. I regret it. I apologise to the SNP. Just, just bear with me for I apologise, and I apologise to the House. I made a mistake. We do make mistakes. I up to mine. I would say that we can have an SO24 to get an immediate debate because the debate is so important to this House. I will defend every member in this House. Every member matters to me in this House. And it has been said, both sides, I never ever want to go through a situation where I pick up a phone to find a friend of whatever side has been murdered by terrorists. I also don't want another attack on this house. I was in the chair on that day. I have seen, I have witnessed. I won't share the details, but the details of the things that have been brought to me are absolutely frightening on all members of this house. On all sides, I have a duty of care, and I say that. And if my mistake is looking after members, I am guilty. I am guilty because. I have a duty of care 
that I will carry out to protect people. It is the protection that led me to make a wrong decision. But what I do not apologise is the risk that's being put on all members at the moment. I had serious meetings yesterday with the police on the issues and threats to politicians, threats heading to an election. And I do not want anything to happen again. So, yes, I will apologise. I always will when I make a mistake. I did. I offer an SL24. That is within my gift and power. But I will also say I will do whatever it is to protect anybody in this chamber or anybody who works in this House. That is my duty of care. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew Percy. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker.